Hi, Tisha. Hello, how are, you? how are you? I'm very well. What about you? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm, I'm fine. Everything good. Perfect. Welcome to the English class. Uh, good now. evening. Hey, good evening, Oli. How are you? Hi, I do. Very well. Here, uh, ready to rock and roll. Yeah, Maluma. <laughs> well, <no. laughs> that is not for me, but I respect that one. But uh, yes, music, you know, is very interesting because there are many kinds of music. Eh, solo rock and roll, solo metálica. Es lo que más me gusta, el, el metal, la verdad, pero escucho pues, de todo un poco pop, un poco de rock en español, un poco de pop en español, quizá por ahí, por los ritmos esos del reggaetón, sino mucho. O sea, no, no escucho, la verdad, no sé, no, no desconozco totalmente. Bueno, yo, um, a mí me gusta uh, de todo tipo, ranchera, de todo. Ranchero oh, good. <laughs> pero eh, sí me gusta la música actual. Yeah. <laughs> pero aquí son metaleros, rockeros. Solo tengo varones, entonces así como que ah, okay. <laughs> me toca. Yeah. yeah but, uh, sí, así es que uh, así me, me puedo hablar de ACDC, Metallica, Guns N' Roses. La, las, son bien nuevas. I knew some music. Yeah, there are uh, nowadays there are lots of music, right? I I bring chicken, some new bands, new genres, many things. Uh, but the good thing is to listen to everything. I mean, you you need to be yeah. happy in the music, right? Okay, uh, let's see. I'm gonna wait. Yes. One or two minutes. Let's see. Okay, my friends, we are going to start the class for today. That is the last one for this week. Uh, and then the next week is the last week of this uh, module. So, of course, the first question is, how is everybody doing in the platform? ¿Cómo vamos en la plataforma? Ya finalizamos todos. Habrá alguien que todavía le falte algunos ejercicios, el final test. I finish. Good, Oli. Yeah. Okay. So, questions with the platform? Anything? Nothing at all. Okay. So, we are going to continue. Uh, actually, we are going to check a little bit about the platform and check some of the exercises that we have there. Uh, we are going only to review in general uh, what is going on in the platform, okay? So let's see, um, Josué, uh, could you please help me reading this objective? So, of course, let me see. Pra practice asking and answering questions in English using the present perfect and simple past tense. In this lesson, English teacher Joe Sainz explains when use simple past versus the present perfect tense depending on the time frame of the action. Practice asking questions in the present perfect using have you ever, and describing your past experiences by responding in both pre the present perfect and simple past. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Very good, thank you. So yes, this uh, is like the main topic for the four um, 
section that is going to be present perfect uh, and of course the combination with simple past and here it is like the the little video with uh, the simple past that it says actually that the past is for completed events at a definite time and the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present or just a period of time that will be it then uh, we have the knowledge check so I guess everybody finished this one right any questions about yes. this no this one kind of easy okay then we have uh, the 4.3 um, Oli could you please help me reading this okay Sequence as verb I use to help the script a project of events, option you say a receipt or instruction. I siento que estoy hablando como la Milena. Second <laughs> adverb <laughs> as <laughs> me dio risa. a fifth attempt. Next after that, affinity. A uh, content information add uh, put the order of action. <laughs> ah, no, ya me perdí. Yo sola me perdí. Necesito, uh, tell me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do that one. Don't worry. Okay, in okay. this one, in the 4.3, if a sequence adverbs are used to help describe a progression of events, often used in recipes of instruction sequence adverbs such as at first, then, next, after that, and finally, contain information about the order of actions and create natural transitions uh, in writing. In this lesson from English teacher uh, Joe Zanz, practice describing recipes and in English using sequence adverbs. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. So we haven't checked that yet uh, here on our site, uh, but that is not that complicated. So it's like when you are telling like, um, a process so you explain the process and you say the first part and then the next part after that part so that is going to be it. and of course we have here the explanation uh, and uh, let's see and then we have the knowledge check that is 4.5 uh you can just choose the correct answer do you have any question about this activity? No questions. Good. After this, let me just remember. Going to be uh, the first. We are not going to check this one. We're going to just continue with our class. Okay. Let me just change here okay good evening teacher hello good evening how are you i'm fine nice what about you very well very well today is thursday already i'm a little bit tired but tomorrow we're gonna rest okay okay <laughs> so this uh is going to be an interesting Conjun topic, you know. These are called conjunction adverbs. Conjunction. Conjunction. So these are words that we use to connect two independent clauses. A clause is just sentences. Sentences that we have, um, or ideas that might be related or might not be related. So that depends on many, many things. So, for example, we have accordingly. So if you are explaining something, uh, this first part is for cause and effect. So remember that all the words that finish in L-Y is like in Spanish, mente. Esta quizás queda rara en español, ¿verdad? Acuérdemente no se puede decir. But it's something like that. Accordingly. So you have a cause or an effect for that one. You put together one idea, and if that idea has an effect or a consequence or cause of that one, you can use accordingly 
to put together the ideas. Consequently, that is like more common, right? So for example, I don't know, um, if, you, if you study a lot of English, consequently, you will be able to travel to other country and learn uh, or understand everybody. So that is something that we use. Uh, we have hands. Uh, do you know what is hands? No. no. Por lo tanto. <clears throat> so, you are saying a sentence and then there is a cause, right? Or effect of it. Hence, and you put together the two ideas. Therefore, do you know what is therefore? Oh, yes. Therefore is mm, Mira, lo difícil aquí es que hay muchas palabras en inglés Therefore también viene siendo algo así como Por lo tanto Por lo tanto, lo que va a pasar es bla 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 So, in English you can also use You can use hence Or therefore Of course you know what it is then, right? And then So All these words that we have here Accordingly, consequently, hence Therefore, therefore, all these words are going to, the usage is going to be very similar to then and then, but sometimes you need to use other words, right? So you, instead of saying then every time, you can use hence or therefore, okay? Uh, for one of the most common things that uh, American people, they really love English speaking people really love is to write essays. Do you know what is an essay? Like an article. Mm. Mm. An essay is going to be like un ensayo. Mm. So essays are very popular in, in English. I mean, at school, since you are in fifth fourth grade, they, the teachers there in the U.S., they say, okay, you are going to write an essay on why taking care of animals is very good. In a hundred words, they say. So when you are writing a lot, and maybe lots of causes and effects, for example, situations, you can repeat them. Okay? They, they don't like that. They don't like to repeat the same word. So that's why there are many conjunctive adverbs that are kind of the same, but there are different words. So instead of writing then every time, you can say then in the first idea, and then the second idea you can say hence, and then you can say accordingly, and things like that. That's why there are many words like this in English. Mm. Okay, that is like in general about the... Um, conjunctive adverbs. I, of course, I bring a lot of words. I know that sometimes it's too much, but anyways, it's good for us to learn. The next one is going to be for sequence. sequence. This is, for example, for, for recipes. That is very popular. So when you say, first, you need to do this. Next, you need to do this other thing. Finally, you can put uh, get together these things, and that's it, okay? So I guess first and next is very clear. And finally, furthermore, do you know what is furthermore? No. No. Mm, furthermore is like es más. Es más. Si usted le agrega más azúcar, azúcar, something like that. Furthermore, okay. Uh, in addition, that is like in Spanish. In English. <laughs> uh, in addition, we can say that If you do a very good diet, you are going to be very healthy. So, something like that. Moreover, moreover is very similar to furthermore. Very, very similar. It's almost the same. But it's a different word. That is it. The other one is for time. Okay? When you are explaining something, and then you say, ah, but before, before you do this, you need to. That is it. Or meanwhile, do you know what is a meanwhile? Good, mientras tanto. So, at the same time, right? You can do this, and meanwhile, you can come and do this other thing. That is true. Since 
Well, I guess that you know because we checked that recently, right? Since you started something. Now, so now that we have finished this, we can do this other thing. And lately, that is like in Why? Spanish as well. Okay. Contrast is uh, to put together ideas that are different in contrast, right? So we have rather. I guess that you know what is rather, right? I'd rather be in Hawaii. No, but we, we are in El Salvador. So that is like a contrast, a change. However, however, it's like, like but. It's exactly the same. But if you don't want to say but, you can say however. However, I don't agree on what you say. Sin embargo. Sin embargo. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Instead, do you know what is instead? En lugar de? Very good. So you can say instead of doing this, you can do this other thing, right? In spite of. In spite of. Además, no? Uh, no. It might be something like that. It might be like a pesar de. A pesar de. Okay. In spite of you didn't study, you got a good, a good grade, for example. There are many words I know. But this is just a, a, a view on that one. And there are more below. Okay. So we have some words to, to emphasize something. Right? Indeed is very common. That is very common. Do you know what is indeed? It will be something like en efecto. No es que significa cabal eso. Recuerde que en inglés... El español solo se hace como un match. ¿Cómo lo diría en español? In English, there are many words. Indeed. Of course. De hecho. You can say that, de hecho. Okay. Of course, you know what is of course, right? Of course. Por supuesto. Of course. <laughs> certainly. So we have certainly, that is like in Spanish. Like certainly, that. you can do this. Definitely. If you Definitely. Definitely. It's another word that you can say. Definitely, if you study, you are going to. If you practice, your English is going to be very good. Undoubtedly. 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 Uh, Undoubtedly. Yeah, it's going to be like in Spanish. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Mm -hmm. Undoubtedly. Okay. S to summarize, we have other words. Briefly. Do you know what is briefly? Briefly. No. No. Okay, that is like brevemente. So mm -hmm. when you are finishing an idea, you can say, well, briefly I can tell you that this is good because of this. In a discussion, in a debate, maybe you can use this word. Merely, that is like in Spanish. Merely, meramente. Mm -hmm. okay. Quickly. Quickly, I, I guess that you know yeah. what is that. Mm -hmm. In conclusion, so it's like when you're finishing something. In conclusion, we can say that uh, whatever. Or in summary, it's like a wrap up. In summary, we can say that is a good idea because of whatever. Okay. Other words that are also, very uh, popular, very common, are to illustrate something. When you are saying something and you, for the other people to understand you better, you can say, uh, for example, okay, <clears throat> for instance, mm -hmm. that is the same. For instance, namely, that namely. it might be something like, por nombrar algo, namely, okay? Namely. Typically, it's something that you know that is the most common thing that happens. Representatively, so it's going to be like, this is the thing that something. gives the, the, the most important examples of something. Typically, namely, okay. stuff. And the other are to compare. When you compare something, I know that you know what it's like. Like your brother, your brother did, that is like when you provide an example. Or us, like when we say, such as your brother. Your brother, he always does this and this and this. Yes. You can say that. Likewise, do you know what is likewise? Okay. Why is a sabio? Why is no? Okay, yeah, only wise is that. Likewise is going to be igualmente. 
So that is very popular because also if I say to you, uh, take care, you can tell me likewise. Lo, lo mismo para usted, likewise. So uh, it's very popular because you can use that in many, in many situations, likewise. And similarly, that is like in Spanish, right? When you are uh, providing some examples about things and uh, you can tell similarly to this situation, we can explain blah, 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 any other thing. Okay? okay. So of course, as I was telling you, these are more words than the ones that are in the platform. Uh, actually, there are many, many, many words for this, a lot. Uh, this is because writing in English is very important. So this topic is more for writing. Because when you are talking, you don't you don't talk in a fancy way, right? You don't say, oh, I merely can tell you that. No, you can say, no, just remember that this is this. But when you are writing, you need to create like a form. For essays, for example, there is like a thesis at the beginning. Then there are like the development of the thesis and the summarizing at the end that is like a conclusion in conclusion we can say that whatever so this topic is more for writing when you are going to write something i guess that at the end for example if you are uh, at the end of english if you want to um if you want to for example uh, create a certification to get a certification that is like like the um, the TOEFL. You know what the TOEFL is? The, the TOEFL is mm. a certification that is valid around the world. That is good. Okay, but did you know that in the TOEFL, one part of the test you need to write an essay? Mm. Then this is going to be very useful. Okay, maybe you are not going to use all of those. Uh, my recommendation for you is to take one, one for emphasize, one to summarize, one to illustrate, and then you are ready to go. One that is like fancy, right? For example, to, um, to summarize briefly is very good. In summary is very good as well. So that is my recommendation for you to learn two words each and you are going to be set. Now, do you have questions about this uh, vocabulary? No questions. Teacher, teacher. Uh -huh. can you repeat what is a uh, in summary? Uh, yeah, in summary, this one. In summary, yes. like when you are going to make a, okay, a summary, uh, in Spanish says como resumen. Okay. Like when you say, uh, when you are saying something, at the end you say, bueno, para resumir, verdad? You can say in English, oh, well, in summary, we can say that, and then you express your ideas or the main points of something. Okay, teacher, thanks. Perfect. Any other question? Teacher, and, mer and merrily? That is like when you say meramente. We don't use that in Spanish a lot, but it's something like that. That is to summarize. So the most important of this is this, that, that I'm going to tell you. So it's at the end of a, okay. a writing or discussion that you can use this one. Okay. Good, good. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Okay, let's practice them. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, here is it. Okay, let's practice. Don't worry if uh, by the end is not correct. This is just a practice. Okay, important things uh, is that we are going to practice. So we have some sentences here, and we are going to choose what might be the correct option. Uh, I was telling you yesterday that tomorrow I'm going to be sending you some exercises. The exercises are going to be very similar to these ones, uh, where you choose uh, or something like that, okay? 
So in this one, we're going to complete the sentences using an appropriate transitional yes. adverb. That is the conjuncting adverb. So mm -hmm. the number one, it says, vegetables are rich sources of vitamins mm -hmm. and antioxidants. And, and hence. Hence. Okay. Hence. hence. Eating vegetables is essential, it's essential for good. For good sun. Yeah. Everybody agrees that it's hence? Uh, um, yeah. Good. Yeah. So. Yeah. Is cause or effect? Good. Nice. So number two, it says the last bus has gone. We are going oh. to have to walk. Therefore. Oh, therefore. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. So can you see how you, okay, that is wrong, it says. Mm -hmm. they, no. They, no. Them. That no. was them. 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 The last bus has gone. Yeah. Okay. Entonces tenemos que tomar el autobús. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay, this one is says. It can be apart, beside, um, a, apart from that is separado de. Okay. Mm -hmm. Besides is como además. And then we have in addition. In 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 addition. Uh -huh. What do you think? In addition. I will repeat the options. Apart from is like, aparte de, separado aparte de, de, separado de, en adición de. El otro besides yeah. es además de. Ah, de, ok. Además de, and Apart from, one. I think. I think apart from. Yeah. Ok, and the rest of the class? Bedside. Besides. Yeah. Ok, we have more for apart from. What? Do you think? Apart from, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here comes the wheel of change. That is correct. Apart from. <laughs> nice. Number four. I bought that it's car. Gone. It looked good and. It's not a price. Mm, moreover, I don't know. More mm -hmm. Remember nice. that besides is además. Uh, okay. yeah. mm -hmm. oh, moreover. Moreover. Everybody agrees I, on moreover. Moreover. I, I, I look I think is okay. besides. Okay. We oh, have besides. One. I think besides. Yes, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody it agrees on good? A and? Hey, yeah. Two similar to. ideas. That's good. Okay, so besides, let's see. It was besides. Here comes. Yeah. That was wrong. <laughs> ah, that was more okay. Over. Era more over. over. Okay. Yeah. That is good. Don't worry. Number five. It says, <laughs> studies seem to suggest that bright blue and bright yellow are the most visible and... Three. Most visible and also. 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 Everybody agrees on also. Therefore. Also. 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 Uh, it's therefore. Okay, we have one vote for therefore, and the rest of the class they say also. What do you think? Also. 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 Everybody mm -hmm. says also. Okay, only one for therefore and the other one for also. Let's click on also. And here we go. Yeah. Uh, oh. It was it's wrong. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number six, it says, you had you better have mend better your weight. Mm -hmm. You had better mend your weight. Handsome. Otherwise, yeah. or otherwise, otherwise, is otherwise. De lo contrario, de lo contrario, otherwise. So, what do you think? Hence? Yes, otherwise. Otherwise, it's hence. Otherwise. It's hence. Okay, we have like two. Otherwise, otherwise. otherwise. okay. Otherwise. And most of the people they say otherwise. Let's go with otherwise. Here we go. That was correct. It was. Yeah. 
otherwise. Otherwise, ¿cuál es otherwise? Otherwise, de lo contrario. Sí, de lo contrario. Ah. Ok, number seven. It says, she didn't Hacemos leave her husband. She didn't leave the husband. I guess it's uh, it. However, that is like but. Although it's like aunque. She and despite is like a pesar de. Despite. Uh, as. Okay, we have one for also and one for despite. Also. Yes. yes, despite. Despite, we have two and two. <laughs> Despite, no, no. Uh, well, the next however, one. However, I think. However, that is totally different. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Any other opinion so we can decide? Because we have two for alto, two for despite, and one for however. Uh, whatever. However, now we have two, two, and two. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Despite. Despite. Okay. Despite. Despite. Let's go Let's to the despite. Start. Okay. That was correct. Oh. Despite. I mean, despite. In this, in this one, I guess that was very easy because it says she didn't leave her husband despite the fact that he had cheated on her. So he was okay. unfaithful. He was with another woman. But she didn't yes. leave her. A pesar de que él le fue infiel, ella no lo dejó. Ah, que hay, hay, crazy. So, uh, the number eight is going to be, aha, uh -huh, despite, although, or however. Each individual is unique in many ways. Members of the same species share many common characteristics. Aha. Uh -huh. Now you For know. me, it can be all true. Although. Although. Yes. Although. yes. Although. Okay, we agree on that one. Let's see if you are right. Here we go. Good. That <laughs> was although. Number nine, they have recruited more people and Recruited. as a result, as consequence, or consequently, the service has resolved. been what is what is the meaning of recruited? Recruited is reclutar. Ellos oh. han reclutado. Mm. As consequence. As consequence. As consequence. Mm -hmm. As consequence. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Consequently. Mm -hmm. This is difficult because as they are very... As a consequence or as a result, the service has improved. Okay. So, uh, the most I of the... thing is consequently. Is consequently. So, we are half and half as consequence and consequently. What do you think? We need to choose one. But I think as, as a consequence. As consequence. As consequence. As consequence. Okay, let's take as consequence and let's as check. As consequence, yeah. That was wrong. <laughs> the correct answer was consequently. Consequently, mm -hmm. yeah. But they are very similar. I mean, in this situation, I know that is difficult. Number 10 is going to be, mm -hmm. I was that confident of winning. So, or nevertheless, or also, I decided to give it a try. So. So, one person so. says so. Nevertheless, it's like the this igual manera. So, I decide. Oh, it's so. So. Nevertheless. 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 What is the meaning of nevertheless? Uh, a, yeah, pesar de, a pesar de. Oh, a pesar de. Así importar. I was not o, confident. A, something like that. Uh, so, 
So, so I, I don't understand the, 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 the sentence, I was not confident. Do you know what is to be confident? To be confident Seguro, is when you, no. something like that. Confident is like when you trust, in this case, in Como. yourself, in your skills. But Como this confiar. is the opposite because it says, uh -huh, confiar. I was not confiar. confident of winning. Ah, iba a decir la respuesta. No, I won't. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's like, de igual manera. Awesome. Yes, there is, there is the car. Never, never. never. Never less. Never does. Never less. I took it. Never the less. Where is the pronunciation? Oh, yeah. Nevertheless. They will manner. I decide to give it a try. So, yes. everybody agrees on yes. that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. That was good. Yes. Okay. As you can see in these sentences, I mean, all the sentences are like more complex, right? They are not like nice to meet you. I mean, that is, we are in a different level here. Okay. And we can check some vocabulary. Vegetables are rich sources. Do you know what is source? A source of something? A curso? No. No, that is resources. Ah, uh, resources. Fuente. 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 Una fuente de algo. So, sources of vitamins and antioxidants, and hence, eating vegetables is essential for good health. So, it's like, I mean, it's a, a, that is like a paragraph. It's not just a sentence, right? And there is when we're going to use this one. So, the other one says, the last bus is gone. Then, we're going to have to walk. So mm -hmm. there is no other option, right? Then what can we do? Then we have, apart from the starter, this is very interesting because this was very clear. Apart from the starter, I thought the meal was nice. So uh, separando, the starter in this case is like the entrance, the appetizer, la entrada de la comida. When you go to a mm -hmm. restaurant, uh, they ask you, right, do, would you like an appetizer, uh, like an entrance, a starter, and you can request soup or little things, and then it comes the main dish. So that's why, apart from, that was the option. Apart from the starter, I mean, the appetizer was yes. not good. Nice. Yeah, was not good. But the rest of the meal was nice. Okay. Yeah, I am. This one I was, I bought that car. It looked good and moreover, it was it reasonable was price. price. So the price was much better than the car that it was nice. The other one was study seemed mm -hmm. to suggest that bright blue and bright yellow are the most uh, visible and therefore the safest colors for vehicles. That is interesting. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's true, but anyways, um, as you can see again, this is this is not for easy sentences. This is for something like more complex. Let's see, number six. You had better mend your ways. Otherwise, you will land in serious trouble. In this case, mend is like to fix. So, and had better. That is a tense that we are going to learn later on. Uh, but this is like an, a, a warning. You had better. It's like you'd better with the contraction with the D. Have you seen that one? You'd better mend your ways. Otherwise, you will land in serious trouble. Do you understand this sentence? Teacher, what is meant? Meant is like to fix. For example, there is a song, I remember a song that it says, how can you mend a broken heart? So it's like how you can fix a broken heart, right? It's to put together everything or to fix something. So in this case, I will tell you this in Spanish. Mejor arreglas la manera en la que tú has, your ways, De otra manera, 
vas a aterrizar en problemas muy serios. Vas a tener, you are going to have lots of problems. The thing is that in English, sometimes when you are telling this kind of situations, you are not going to be punctual, like exactly what you want to say. Sometimes you use some other words that are like fancy. Okay. Uh, okay, you're welcome. Number seven, she didn't leave her husband despite the fact that he had cheated on her. I guess this is very clear. I mean, because it's despite. Even when she was right, she didn't do it. Okay. Number eight. Also, each individual, also is like aunque, right? Um, aunque. Um. So, also, each individual is unique in many ways. Members of the same species share many common characteristics. Yeah, this is like, as you can see this, it's like a part of a magazine or a part of a, a long writing, right? So, there is when we're going to use these words. Okay, and number nine, that was they have recruited more people and consequently the service has improved as a consequence of that. I know this is difficult. This is very difficult because they were very similar, very similar. So I, I was telling you before, hands and the other one is very, very close. But by now, it's enough for us to understand that there are words for this. When you are there in advanced, you are going to learn the difference between this and this other one and the way for you to write. There are rules, for example, for the, the article the, the education, uh, the final game. But in English, we use a lot of el, la, los, las. Uh, in Spanish, I'm sorry. In English, that has rules, specific rules that you are going to learn in the advanced level, okay? So don't worry for the wrong ones. The last one was kind of easy. I was not confident of winning. Nevertheless, I decided to give it a try, okay? And you can see here that we found other words. I mean, I brought many words and here we found other words. So in English, there are many, many words. If you want to improve in this kind of activities, my best advice for you is to read. You can read the news. You can read newspapers from other countries. That is like not that difficult. Books in English are difficult because depending on the kind of book, sometimes there are words uh, I mean, it's a good idea because you are going to learn a lot of vocabulary. It's a good idea. But you can start with newspapers and you are going to find this kind of vocabulary there. That is common language, not that fancy, but it's something that uh, you use when you want to do writings. Okay? Okay, and here there was like the answers for that one. Any questions for this exercise? Mm. Piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sometimes it's difficult, but remember what happened when you were starting okay. with the simple present? I mean, the first time that you learned the simple present, it's like, what? S and do and does and what is that thing like? But now you know that one. Since we are using um, this for um, to put together ideas, I brought you some some readings that are very nice. I guess you're gonna like it. Recipes. Recipes are good. Um, these are the first one is simple sweet scones. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be hungry, but anyways, we need to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to repeat. Then you are going to read. And then we can check vocabulary or some other things, okay? 
So we're going to read only this first one. Everybody, please repeat. Simple sweet scones. Sweet scones. Read the recipe. Read the recipe. Read the recipe. Ingredients. 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 Two and a half cups of flour. Two and a half, half cups of flour. One tablespoon of baking powder. One tablespoon of baking powder. Half teaspoon of cold butter. Half teaspoon of cold butter. A quarter cup of sugar. A quarter cup of sugar. Use one third if you want sweeter scones. Use one third, one -third if you want, if you want sweeter, sweeter scones. scones. A pinch of cinnamon, optional. A pinch, a pinch of, of cinnamon, cinnamon optional. optional. Two thirds cups of milk. Two, Two thirds, thirds cups of, of milk. milk. Steps. 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 Heat the oven to 220 degrees Celsius. Hit the Hit oven, the oven to, to 220 degrees Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you yeah, Can you repeat be... your Of course, yeah. let's do it. Repeat. <laughs> so it's going to be heat the oven to heat 220 oven. degrees Celsius. Okay. Degrees Celsius. Heat the oven, oven to heat the oven 220, 220 degrees Celsius. Degrees. <laughs> degrees. So degrees, degrees is, Celsius. Let the symbol, right? You know that degrees uh, Celsius is this case because we have the C there. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, number two. Uh, let's repeat. Put flour. Put flour. Put flour. Baking powder. And salt in a large bowl and stir well. And, and salt, salt in a large bowl and, 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 and stir well. Stir well. Add the butter and cut in with a pastry blender. Add the butter and cut in with a pastry blender. Pastry blender. Or rub in the butter. Or rub in the butter. Or in the butter. With your fingers until the mixture. With your fingers until the mixture. Looks like fine breadcrumbs. Looks, Looks like, 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 like fine breadcrumbs. 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 Add the sugar and toast to mix. Add the sugar and toast to mix. Add the, and to mix. Add the milk and stir. Add the milk and stir. Add the milk and stir. With a fork until the dough is firm. With, with a fork until the dough is firm. And firm. Form the dough into a ball. Form the dough into a ball. Form the dough into a ball. And roll the dough into a six inch circle. And roll the dough into a six inch circle. And roll the dough into a six inch circle. Cut out wedges for each scone. Cut out, Cut out wedges, wedges for each scone. Line a tray with greaseproof paper. Line a tray with greaseproof paper. And place the wedges on the paper. And place the wedges on the paper. On the paper. Sprinkle a little sugar. A sprinkle, sprinkle a, little a little sugar and cinnamon on each scone. And cinnamon, and cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon on each scone. scone. Bake in the oven for about 12 minutes. Bake in the oven, oven for, in the about, oven for 12 about 12 minutes. minutes. Or until they are medium brown on top. Or or until until they are they are brown, they are brown, brown, brown top. top. Okay, very good. As you can see in this kind of uh, readings, there are many words, right? Many new words, 
if you read any recipe that you read, you're going to find a lot of things. And it's, it's amazing because like, I mean, in Spanish, we know many names, but even if we know many names, there are things that we don't know, right? It's like, what is that? What is that that you put in the, the same happens with English. <laughs> when you are talking about plants, fruits, animals, uh, things that, that vocabulary is huge. It's amazing. Anyways, uh, okay. Simple, sweet scones. Scones, do you know what is scone? Scone, como boyos. Like that, very good. Scones, like, like biscuits, right? And that is the recipe. As you can see, uh, with these numbers, two and a half, uh, a quarter, one third. So you are going to explain it like that. In numbers, it's easier there just to write it. But it's one third or things like that. Okay, so the first one says two and a half cups of flour. Do you know what is flour, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and of course the cups, right? So it's going to be a lot of flour, two and a half cups of flour. And then one tablespoon. What is a tablespoon? Cuchara. Cucharaditas. Cucharada. Cuchara, cucharada, right. Cuchara. Tablespoon. Table is like the regular spoon. Of baking powder. What is baking powder? Polvo de hornear. Polvo de hornear. Mm, polvo de hornear. Polvo I, de hornear. I, I don't think it's the same. Okay, then know. it says, okay. So the next one says one half of teaspoon of cold butter. What is a teaspoon? It's a cucharadita. That is a small spoon. Oh, yeah. oh, cold butter. Nice. Cold butter, what is that? Mantequilla. Mantequilla. Cold. That means that you are not going to cook it. You just cut it and put it, right? That is the only thing. Then it says mm -hmm. a quarter cup of sugar, just one third if you want sweeter scones. So in this case, are two options. They recommend a quarter cup of sugar. But if you want the scones to be sweeter, you can add more, more sugar. A pinch of cinnamon. Uh, that is optional. Pinch. You know what's a pinch? Una pizca. Una pizca. <laughs> Good. When you I've just with your fingers so, do something and you do that. Put it there on that. And then it says two thirds cups of milk. So that is beer. Yeah. Okay. Then on the um, on the process it says heat the oven. What is heat? Calentar. Good. And the oven is Recalent. the part of the uh, the part of the stove, right? When you open and you heat and it's burning then inside. You know what is oven. Okay, uh, the word there is degrees. Degrees is when you're talking about temperature, okay? It's very common in uh, English, Fahrenheit degrees. In this case, this one is Celsius degrees, okay? Because of this. Okay, number two says put flour, baking powder, and salt in a large bowl. What is a bowl? The Super Bowl. Have you seen the Super Bowl? It's como un tazón. So a bowl is como un tazón. Como el de la sopa, como un hondo. So a bowl is exactly that one. It's a bowl where you put everything and then it says steer well what is steer so, i'm sorry i mean you can cook for example stir egg stir eggs are like eggs mixed up right okay let's see what is next and the butter, and the butter Add the butter and cut in with a pasture blender. Plastic blender, do you have an idea on what is that? Blender. AC. Not this one. Blender, a pasture blender is like um, a tool. A tool that you use that cut. Blender is liquidora. Oh. 
blended. Uh -huh. But in this case, a passive blender is like something that you use uh, to cut in this case. Something like that, okay? In, 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 in pieces. In pieces, yeah. And then it says, or a rub. Do you know what is rub? Agregar. It's not agregar, no. Como untar, no? That is the one, untar. So, for example, in medicine, when you have an ointment, you know what is an ointment? An ungüento. Ungüento, pomada. <laughs> so, uh, the verb for that one is rub. So, you rub big. Rub. Right here in the, in the chest mm. when you have a cold. In this case, you when you rub, have flu. Yeah. When you have a flu. <laughs> in this case, you rub in the butter with your fingers until the mixture looks like fine. Okay, this is a good one. Breadcrumbs. Until the mixture look like fine. Breadcrumbs, como pedacitos de pan. Something like that, like the one that you used to uh, to cook campero chicken, right? Migajitas de pan. Yeah, Migajitas. Es, uh, es como ese, no sé cómo se llama en español. Es como ese polvito para empanizar que es bien fino. Ah. Oh. Something like that, que se hace con el pan. Something like that. So it's like breadcrumbs. That is, those are the breadcrumbs. Um, I'm sorry? No, es como el... Yeah, something like that. So it's like a dust made with bread, right? So, something like that. Then it says, uh, add the sugar and dust to mix. Do you know what is dust? No. Okay, dust is a verb that you... I will do it here. In mind that you have the recipient. Oh, I have a recipient here. And you dust the recipient. It's mm. not mix, it's not revolve, it's not steer, it's toss. All right, toss to mix. That is it. And then it says add the milk and steer. Again, steer, that is to revolve. It's como cuando uno quiere que enfríe algo. In this case, it's just a movement that you do to mix the sugar and everything. And then you add the milk and steer. Do you remember what is steer? Uh, Revolver. Revolver. Good. Revolver. Steer. With a fork. What is a fork? Tenedor. Good. With the, the tenedor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Until the dough. What is a dough? Masa. Uh, es decir, masa. Dough. Es decir, masa. Masa de lo que usted quiera. Uh, uh, until the dough is firm. And then in number six it says, form the dough into a ball. And roll the dog into a six inch circle. So you're going to form the dog into a ball and then roll the dog into a six inch circle. So you are going to just form it, right? And form a circle. Then you are going to roll it. And then it says cut out wedges for each scoon. So you are going to like create a form. The form of the scone. Mm. Number eight, it says align a tray uh, with greaseproof paper. So align a tray is like uh, with something you are going to do the form like 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 draw, draw into the dough. And it says that is with a greaseproof paper. Do you know what is a greaseproof paper? Uh, papel para hornear. Yeah. Something like that. It's grease proof. It's like papel a prueba de, a prueba de grasa. Que quita oh. la grasa, que extrae la grasa. Okay? Oh. Like the one that you used to clean. Papel toalla. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> and then and place the wedges on the paper. So uh, you are going to remove the excess, let's say. Mm. Number nine is interesting. Sprinkle. sprinkle. What is sprinkle? Um, Spolvorear, no? That is it. So when you have, I don't know, sugar, salt, and you get the salt and you sprinkle, sprinkle. right? Good. A little sugar and cinnamon. You know what is cinnamon, right? What is cinnamon? Yeah. Canela. 
good. No. On each scone. And then bake. What was bake? Hornear. Good. In the oven for about 12 minutes. Or until they are medium brown on the top. Oh, como color yeah. doradito. Yeah, <laughs> when you look at that and you say, oh, this is good. It's already done. That is it. My scones are good. Okay. Okay, uh, this was a very nice reading. We are going to read, but not today because we are out of time. And we have another reading that we're going to uh, do next week. Okay, so my friends, any questions before we finish? No, oh, teacher, thanks. Very good. This is piece of cake, please. Uh, and I'm very happy that we're moving on. So uh, I'm going to be sending you tomorrow some exercises if you have the time to make them uh, during the weekend. Uh, enjoy and try to do it. If you have questions, you can also chat with me. And uh, I hope you have a very nice night. Just rest. Also, the weekend is um, uh, the 14th of February, so you will be able to, uh, if you have a significant other, to have a nice date. Or if you have friends, you can go and enjoy with your friends. So, I have a question. Go ahead. But it's about the certificate, el certificado. Okay. Bueno, in Spanish. Uh, porque cuando yo intenté ahora imprimirlo, porque me gusta tener como en papel. Mm -hmm. Entonces fui a un ciber y e intenté que me lo imprimiera, pero me salía en dos páginas. Las firmas me salían en otra página. Eh, cuando sí. ya lo... Cuando ya lo descargan en PDF, porque lo hice también aquí en mi compu y salen dos páginas. Sí, no. eh, la solución para eso es descargarlo al 90% o imprimirlo de una vez al 90%. Y ahí se le va a reducir oh. un poquito y ya va a estar todo cool. Porque en el ciber no, no lo pudieron hacer. Y lo que hicieron fue una captura. Ah, ok. También se puede. De pan, así me lo hicieron, porque okay. sí... Cuando se descarga sale así. Las firmas salen en otra página. Ok. Sí, pero en el futuro si le vuelve a dar ese problema, lo hace al 90%. Al 90%. No ok. Ok. Gracias. Thanks. Any other question? <laughs> ok, my friends. It was a pleasure. Have a good night and see you on Monday. That is next week is our Ay, last que week. So, que que see que you... Que Hey, good See night, you. everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.